and Jam friends! I am currently studying the Book of Mark with some of the other teachers at Hope Church like Miss Susan, Miss Kay, and Miss Ann. I'm really enjoying reading and learning about who Jesus is, the character of Jesus, and how He is God of power and glory. 1 Chronicles 29.11 says, Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory, and the majesty and the splendor, for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. God is greatest of all. His glory is when He shows His incredible greatness. God shows His glory in many ways. He is so powerful that He made the earth and everything in it. He is so good that He is completely perfect. He is so loving that He loves every person in the whole world. That includes you. No one but God has this kind of glory and power. Today we're going to learn about how I can know God. We cannot know God all on our own. He is just too wonderful for us to understand or explain. So God chose to teach of us about Himself. He used men to write down His message to people in the Bible so we could know Him. But He did something more. In Hebrews chapter 1, it says, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, He has spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed heir of all things, and through whom also He made the universe. In the Old Testament, God spoke to people through prophets like Moses, Elijah, or Deborah, but now God speaks to us through Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God, is also God. We believe in the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are three in one. When Jesus left heaven to come to earth, He was both God and man. This made Jesus the perfect person to teach people about God. He completely understood what it's like to be God, because He's God, and also what it's like to be human, because He was a man. Jesus made the way for people to get to know God. And getting to know God is the best thing you could ever do. It is better than being smart or being strong or being rich. He is, he is the best friend you could ever have. Friends spend time with each other. They get to know each other by talking and listening to each other. And you can do these things with your friend God by reading the Bible and praying. If you read the book of Mark, you will read about things Jesus said and did. Talk with God about what you read and ask Him to help you learn about um, Him through Jesus. Now, let's look at some of the things Jesus taught. Here are three clues. Clue number one, Jesus taught people that He is God. So one day, Jesus was walking in the temple and some people asked if He really was Christ, the Savior that God had promised to send. Jesus said that He already told them who He is. The powerful miracles He did were things only God could do. He said He could do the exact same things as God because He is God. Many people became angry when Jesus said that He is God. They didn't think God Himself would come down to save them. They thought Jesus must be lying. But we know that Jesus was telling the truth. Clue number two. Jesus taught that God makes the rules. Some other teachers who lived at the same time as Jesus made up books full of their own rules for how to please God. Remember the Pharisees? They had rules about exactly how to wash dishes. They even had rules about washing your hands in a certain way. These Pharisees didn't follow God's rules, but they were very upset that Jesus did not follow all their rules. Jesus reminded them that they had made up their own rules, but it was God's rules that really mattered. When you think, say, or do things that displeases God, that's called sin. Lying, whining, and disrespecting parents or teachers are all sins. And God says that all people born knowing how to sin, unfortunately. So again, we must read the Bible that teaches us about God's rules and pray to God the Holy Spirit to help us not sin and then ask God the Father to forgive us of our sins. Ready for our clue number three? Jesus taught that He is the only way to God. One night, Jesus was eating dinner with His disciples. He began to teach them about heaven, where they could be with God forever. Thomas, one of the disciples, said they didn't know the way to heaven. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus was saying He is the only way for people to be with God in heaven and enjoy that forever friendship with Him. You can know God through Jesus. 
The people who heard Jesus teach were amazed, even people who didn't like what he said. No one ever taught like Jesus. Jesus used words and actions to teach. He did miracles to heal people because he cared for them. The Bible says Jesus taught with authority. That means he taught with power because he understood everything he taught. He could teach about God with authority because again, he is God. The teaching of Jesus will never be forgotten and will always be true. He is the greatest teacher who has ever lived.